What is going on guys? It's Lon here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install hydraulic brakes. These are Shimano and uh, it'll put it on the screen, okay? I forgot. I think it's like M2 something, but yeah, these are Shimano hydraulics. Uh, if you watched my video where I bought the beast build, you'll know uh, the guy who I bought this from, he gave me this, uh, gave me these and the extra parts and stuff, so I'm so glad I don't have hydros now. Uh, these are the stock Tetro uh, brakes right here. Um, they're they're not bad. I mean, I felt worse brakes before, but they're definitely not not the best. So yeah, we're we're gonna be installing these hydraulic brakes. Um, I'll make a video on why hydraulic versus mechanical. Uh, you know why hydraulic is better than mechanical brakes. Um, but for all you all you beginners. Uh, Shimano, uh, hydraulic brakes means there's fluid in them, so instead of a cable that uh, pulls the brake pads together, it uses hydraulic fluid, so it is, I mean, you do have to bleed them sometimes, and if you, like, crash, you could break something and oil goes everywhere, or, or fluid goes everywhere, so, yeah, um, but they're worth it, so, yeah. So, first we're gonna start off by cutting the grips, so, um, you know, it's super simple, literally you can either get a knife, Pliers, just just cut them. Try not to scratch your handlebar too bad, but uh, yeah, I'll get to you when we, when we cut them. So yeah. All right, guys. So we have one grip off. Now we were going to cut them with something like this, a pair of like uh, just like snip things that you can just cut with. Um, we were gonna do that, but then we decided to try to uh, use the WD-40 method. So what we did was we stuck this inside the grip. We would pull it out, put it in. Then get this in, spray a little WD-40 in, and then because of you made an, because you made an opening in the grip, they like uh, where you could put um, lubrication, in, sorry like lubrication, but like lubrication, um, you could just slide it out. You could just pull out and spin and spin. It takes a little bit of a little bit of elbow grease, but it's okay. It, it's worth. You get to keep grips. But if you really don't care about grips, you can just cut them. It's quicker. But yeah, we just decided to try that. So yeah, now we just uh. Whenever we put the new brakes on, we're just gonna put the grip back on, and then we're good. So, yeah. Um, now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the lever. Now, this takes a uh, size five Allen key. Um, if you guys can get yourself, either you can buy yourself or get somebody to buy you T handles. Uh, that's what this is, you know, the T. Uh, if, you can, if you can get these, you know, for Christmas, anything, they're really nice to work with and you'll really enjoy your bike a lot more. If you get a little tool set or something, because you'll be able to keep up with your bike and you'll be able to maintain it. And it's just so much fun. Like literally learning how to fix your bike. It's like, there's some simple stuff and then there's some like not so simple stuff. But most of the things use an Allen key, like changing stems, changing bars, all of that. It just gets a little more complex when you get the hubs and you get to wheels. And a lot of people think brakes are complex, but you just gotta understand how they work. So, yep. Now we're gonna uh, take off the brake lever. So, just gonna down here. Don't get it too loose. I mean, you might need it loose if it is grabbing on your bar. You don't want to scratch it too much. So, do that. Then you just get it off like that. It's that easy. And then, I'm trying to put that there. If you look here, we have the cable that runs through there. So right here, these are little like uh, things that you can snip off. So I'm gonna get the things that I snip with. Snippers. Oh yeah, we're gonna get this. Uh, so we're just gonna put it right here. We should get it Oops. just like that. So we have one done, and then we're gonna do the next one. tricky just to like find the exact place to do it and actually we have actually have one more for that and now take the cable off just like this you didn't see that it's not how you keep your bike in tip top shape and then we just have the caliber. So I'm gonna let this hang right here. I'm gonna save these brakes just in case I uh, crash. Uh, so now we need, oh yeah, we need the Allen key. So 
First, you're going to take off these two bolts. So now that we did all of that, these two bolts are how you take the calibers off. So this is another, you know, same size five. So we're going to get it in there. And another nice thing about T-handles is I can just literally put my fingers here and just roll it like this and it's so quick. Compared to like the L-shaped Allen keys. Um... All right, so I know where they all went. So make sure if you see parts fall, you immediately look. Didn't expect, oh, okay. I know where they all are, it's okay, it's okay. So, <laughs> not the smoothest way to do it, but yeah. Um, so I'm gonna pick these up real quick. Make sure if you see, if you hear parts fall, you immediately look down or else you'll be missing washers and that's not good. So, all right, we have the break off now. Uh, we're gonna put it over here and now we're gonna get the hydraulic brake and start the process of that. Alright guys, so now that we cut off everything, we're gonna get the brakes on. So first, before you do anything, you wanna make sure you have zip ties. Now, make sure, except this is the only one where you have to do it this way, but you have to put it in like this, which is like the bigger, the longer side facing down. So, but all the other ones, you're gonna have it the opposite, facing up like this. That's how they, that's how they um, snap into each other. So, since this one is up and these are down, that's why that's the case. So, um, <clears throat> now we're going to put it in like this. And so I'm just gonna leave it here for when it's ready um, because we still, once we have everything on, we still have to align the pads make sure they're not running. So now we're going to do this. So now we're doing the big side up. So we're gonna do this. All right, and now we got our zip ties on. Um, cameraman ran into a few things, it's okay. All right guys, so normally there's an orange thing like this that comes in between your brakes and that is so your pads don't pop out when you hit the lever. So now that there's nothing in here, holding it together, you know, making it so the pads don't come out, don't hit the brake lever. If you hit the brake lever, the pads are gonna pop out and then it's gonna be a huge head headache, so just don't touch the lever. And um, so now I have, there's the two screws that we use to take this off, I have them in my pocket. Um, right here those are them so i'm gonna need those put them in my pocket so i can just not have to reach um and so now <clears throat> what we're gonna do you look here there's a slot with the brake pads and then the little slot right there and so now we're going to put it on just like that line it up with the screw holes like that and then we're just gonna hand tighten them for now because they're because we have to all line them still. So just get them to the point where they stay in. Okay, so do this side. Alright guys, so now that we have the caliper on, we just gotta run the cable and put the brake on. So yeah, so we're gonna un make sure it's not like this. So Run the cable, or run the, put the lever right here. Just keep it like that for now. And then uh, you're going to start with this one. So first you're gonna wanna put the cable, you can see there's a little indent for the cable. Put that like that. You, we're not gonna fully tighten it yet, but just gonna somewhat tighten it. Now we can set it here and like tighten it a little bit more. And now we're gonna do this. And we're 
probably gonna want it right there. Right there. Okay, so we can just tighten it a bit more. Um, and don't worry about this. We're gonna stick this off later, so don't worry. It's not gonna be like, like rubbing against your wheel. So now that we have this here, that's good. So next we have these. So all these have little indents for the cable underneath. It'll be hard to see, but it's in there. Um, so then we put this one like this. And you just, you know, just pull it. Extra tighten it. <laughs> and so, yeah, we have two parts on now. Now we have this one. this caliber so you gotta you guys gotta remember that don't forget this or else it, it's all loose right now it's not even tightened and uh so yeah all right guys so i know this is a controversial subject wd-40 and bicycles okay a lot of people you think wd-40 is not the way to go um but if you use a lot of people use water and that can give you throttle grip and that's not good uh, some people call it whiskey grip, but I call it throwing grip. <laughs> um, and so I use a super small amount of WD-40. Like if you use too much, you're gonna get it's gonna be terrible. But it dries quick, and it's a super small amount. Don't use a lot. So like literally, we're gonna just slide it on in a second. Now that we have that amount, we're gonna let it go through, and we're gonna roll it around like this. Just let it get all throughout this. I might put a touch more on because it's kind of it's a little, it's a long and it's a shorter grip, so it's gonna be I don't know. I feel like it'd be hard because it's, it's it was hard to take off for some harder than normally any other grip. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more. That should be good. Okay, now that we have this all like this, make sure it gets to the back too, so that way when it slides in nice all the way. Super easy, and towards the end, it gets a little hard. So, the bar end is, it needs a, it's got a, it needs a little more. And so already, it's already harder to spin than it was when I first got it. So it dries really quick. And if you have an air compressor, you could just air compress a grip on. That's the best way. That's how all the bike shops do them. But this is the not so nice way. But it works well. I mean, look at it. No throttle grip already. No throttle grip. So perfect. But it has to be a small amount. That's the thing you guys got to remember. Now we're going to have the brake. Um, let me feel. See how I like my brake. Uh, probably. Oh, you got there. Actually, let me see if I, that's, I want it over more. So I'm just gonna tighten it a bit so it can actually stay. Don't over tighten it, okay? We're in the hard way. 
That's about, that's pretty good. Um, yep, it's good. So, so I'm still, we're just not done yet, almost done. Uh, we still gotta snip these. We gotta tighten the caliber. So, yeah, now that we have this, we're just gonna do that. So, yeah. So now we're gonna snip these off. Um, and so first we're going to do this. We're going to put it this way. We're going to get as close as we can. We're just gonna snip it. Oh, let me get a little bit here. That kind of hurt. <laughs> Not the best way to do it, but you know, it's uh, you gotta just like pull, like just pull a little bit, but not not that much. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing here. Make sure you're on the right side if you're using these tools. You're probably not, but it's, it's whatever. Um, you get as close as you can, and you're just gonna cut it like that. I might cut this a little more after. Um, that's not the best job. It's kind of like a. It's not. It's not that good. Scratch my frame. And uh, so now I guess all we have to do is adjust the caliber. It's well, pretty much adjusted. It, it just had got to be tightened, but like it's different for different bikes. You might need to adjust it. Um, but this thing, I don't think it's adjusted. So now I'm going to take my Allen key. Thank you, Mr. Coleman. Oh, sold me out here. So, um, what we're gonna do is we are going to uh he's gonna hold the brake just like that and i'm going to tighten it because remember they're still hand tightened they're not fully tightened so we're gonna tighten it like this still i'm gonna crank them down in a second just gotta tighten them really. and so while he's holding down the brakes And that's and that's it. Um, that's how you install hydraulic brakes on your bike. These are Shimano. Um, these actually, I'll leave a link in the description uh, for these brakes because they're really not that expensive. I think they're only like forty bucks, fifty, something like that on the Amazon. They're like the cheapest ones, and like they, you know, if you guys are used to stock mechanical brakes, these will already be a lot better. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, and uh, I'll see you guys later.